Hi, this is Scott Stelter coming to you live from NRF. I'm going to demonstrate to you our RFID inventory management solution. It's based on the CT40 and the IH21 RFID reader. Here at the show we're running SML inventory management software. SML is one of our partners. The challenge in RFID today is inventory accuracy. The lack of inventory accuracy causes all sorts of problems. Most soft goods retailers count their inventory twice a year. So they have accurate inventory the day after they count and then it degrades day after day until they count again six months later. The typical average inventory accuracy in a soft goods retailer and apparel retailer is about 65%. With RFID you can get that accuracy up around 99% and that has all sorts of benefits. One thing it eliminates out of stocks, by eliminating out of stocks, you get a sales lift typically in the range of 2 to 10 percent. That's 2 to 10 percent. In addition, I can reduce safety stock and still support omni-channel execution. And uh, I can also provide better customer service because I have ac accurate inventory uh, data. Okay, so before we do our inventory count, I want to talk a little bit about the tags. All of the soft good items in the store are tagged with tags. Here's a shirt that has a hang tag, and inside of this hang tag is a device called an RFID inlay. It has a small chip in it. It adds three to five cents cost to the cost of goods of the garment, and that has not only the uh, SKU information, the style and size information of the manufacturer, but it also has a unique serial number which allows me to distinguish between any two items, even if they're identical in size, style, and make. Here's another example of an RFID tag. This is not a hang tag, this is just a sticker. Again, this adds about three to five cents per item. Okay, so now we're gonna do the count. So again, as I mentioned earlier, this is the CT40 and this is the IH21 reader, and we're running the SML inventory management software. So I'm gonna do an inventory. I'm going to start a new count. I can do any category I want, men's, women's, Levi's, whatever. I'm going to do all categories for the purposes of this demo. And I can do any location in my store. So I'm going to do the stock room, the sales floor rather. So what you're going to see on the screen here are several numbers. This is the number of tags that I will be counting that are uh, legitimately found in my database. It's a total of 123 tags that can be found in the database. I may find extra tags. And the reason I may find extra tags is that when people use RFID, misencoded tags, damaged tags, tags from other stores can accumulate. They get underneath the sales displays and so on, and they need to be cleaned up. So the system tells me that I have some of those. And I won't demonstrate it today, but I can use a Geiger counter mode to find those bad tags, tear them up, and throw them away. This is going to show progress and show you exactly how many tags I find against what's expected. The reason I need to show what's expected is because the user needs to know when they're done. And since RFID doesn't have a laser beam or anything, it doesn't have any indication of when you're done. So the system needs to tell you, yeah, you found all the tags that are expected. Okay, now I'm going to start my inventory count. <laughs> At this point, I've counted about three quarters of my store, and as you can see, I've read 114 tags. It looks like all 114 of these tags were found in my database, so I'm at 114 out of 123 now. Now I'm going to go finish my store on the other side over here. As you can see, I found 123 total tags. Uh, 114 prior to that last count were found in the database, and the database is about to update and tell me how many of the tags I just read were also found in the database. Looks like 120. So at this point, I'm at 97.6 inventory accuracy. Remember that typically in a barcode semi-annual counting situation, inventory accuracy is about 65%. This is a substantial improvement over uh, what non-RFID soft 
uh, goods retailers experience. And so you get all of those financial benefits as a result, including, as I said before, sales lift, reduced safety stock, reduced working capital, better customer service, better on channel execution. most important aspects of having high inventory accuracy is the ability to provide better customer service. And one example, a simple example of better customer service is the ability to do an inventory lookup that you can rely on as a sales associate. All right, so now I'm going to do a search. Tap search to locate, stock lookup, here's an RFID tag, a pair of Levi's. You come into my store, you want this pair of jeans, but I don't have your size on the sales floor. So I scan it, and now I know where all of my uh, inventory of that style is. And in this case, it shows it's on the sales floor, but it may be on the sales floor, it may be in one of multiple back rooms, it may be at a different store, maybe it's at a different store and I can uh, arrange for it to be shipped to you. So this is a way for me to have complete inventory awareness uh, throughout all my stores and to be able to provide you with better customer service as a customer. of having very, very good inventory accuracy is that you have constant, 100%, 100% of the time, inventory awareness. And that allows you to do constant replenishment to make sure that you always have on your sales floor what you want to have on your sales floor. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can use this inventory uh, information out of the database to generate a replenishment report. Where the data comes from is that I did an inventory, let's say, a few days ago, and since then I've had POS happening and I've merged the POS data and the inventory count from a few days ago so I know what's left the sales floor so that I can see, generate a list of that material that needs to be brought back from, this, from the back room. So I'm going to do a replenishment report. I'll do a replenishment by list. So here you'll see that I have two lists. It's very possible that you're going to have different categories of goods. You may have high velocity, high margin goods that you want to replenish every two hours and other goods that you only replenish once a day. So you want to provide different lists depending on the different types of uh, inventory that you want to be replenishing. So what's going to happen is one of the sales associates will discover that they have a few free minutes without any customers to serve and they'll want to tidy up their area and they'll generate a list and this will tell them what to go get. And they can then go in the back room, load up a trolley, come out and get all this uh, uh, inventory and then merchandise it.